everyone, you are watching I Heart Art on Channel 31 and my name is Durabil, also known as Doxa. And on this episode, we are going to finish the self-portrait that we started last episode. And so I've added in some more details. And so I'm just gonna go straight back in and we're going to complete the earrings, the lips, we're gonna do the background and the top as well. So I've just put some red on a side palette. And what I'm going to do, let me use my other hand, I'm just going to grab some brown and I'm just going to mix that in, transfer this over here, just the tiniest bit, swap hands again. And then I'm just going to mix in this brown with the red to get a natural lip tone that's not quite red. But not quite brown we want to just see where we go with this and i like to experiment with the shades a bit so you'll see me put a dot here and then another dot there that's usually because i've changed my mind and i want to add a bit of another color and so i'm sort of like traveling in this area it's because i'm not sure if i would like the finish and usually all the other paint splotches I use later on so when I need some more red and brown mix I'll just grab it from there and now what we're gonna do is jump straight in there and this can sort of be our base color and we just want to be mindful of the outline just go straight in the middle and this brush is quite thick but that is okay we can just angle it and just be careful with our maneuvers. So I'm just gonna drag that all the way down here. And then we're gonna stop, grab a little bit more, and then just hit that bottom lip. So I'm gonna drag that all the way down like that. Now I'm gonna clean off this brush. Um, you don't necessarily have to use paper towel. I usually just like using the palettes. Just find a nice edge and just wipe off that paint. You can even use it later on. All paints don't, don't dry fast, so super awesome. You could always go back if you want. Now we're just gonna take some more of that red. We want just a tinge more red in it this time because we're gonna start going inwards towards the gum area. Now I'm gonna grab some white just to create a more of a pink hue, just so we get some differentiation in the mouth. So I'm just gonna grab a white, pop that open. And just slap that on your palette. And then we're just gonna mix, grab a bit of that white. I don't really want a lot of oil in it and this white isn't mixed. So what we're gonna do is just grab some of that white and put it just in a clean area. And as you can see, because of the residue on my brush, it's already created that flesh-like pink on its own which is again why I love using one brush for multiple uses and multiple purposes because the colors and the residue is already there. So without really doing much, I've already created um, sort of a tone that I can kind of work with. So just slap that right in that middle section. It's more of a cream than a pink, but that is fine because we can always add some red to it. But this is a great guide to where we're going. Okay. Yep, so now we're just creating that pink for the gum. And I'm not gonna change my brush. You may want to, because this is a very detailed area, but you know, I'm just gonna go straight in. So very sharp angle. We're going head on, as head on as possible. 
And what we want to do is just create a line at the bottom, just like that until about here. And that's basically the gums. Yeah. And then now I'm going to go back to the brown red situation that we had before. I'm going to go to that top lip and just fill that in. Again, I've put some flaxseed oil in the paints. So it's very malleable. And the good thing about this, or the bad thing is it's oily. But the good thing is once this dries, you can actually put multiple layers. So I could probably put another five or six layers just on this one piece. I won't do that, but I'm just telling you in case you want to do that and get some layers on. Now what I'm doing is I'm grabbing some brown and I'm going to grab just a touch, like I'm hovering the tip of this in there, tiniest bit of black and watch how much, watch how dark it goes, literally. And that was from a dot of black. So a little really does go a long way. That's probably even a bit too much, but Right, I can use it for something else. And now we're going to do that upper lip line. So I'm going to start from just this corner and drag that down like so, like that. Bring it to the middle. And I'm going to do the other side. And this is where you can sort of let the brush do the work and just lean it into itself a bit more. Amazing. So that's our lips, the base of it at least. You can leave it there um, or you can add some more detail. I probably am going to leave that there. What we're going to do now is do the teeth. So what you want to avoid is assuming colors. Um, so I'm not going to actually do any white on the teeth, just plain white. What I want to do is grab some white and you want to put so, sort of a dot there and another dot there. And this is great for creating sort of a real look. It just adds some depth, it adds some tone. And then I'm going to go in with this tooth here. I'm just going to do that. And I'm not really going to fill it in. I'm just... So we're just doing some random bits and bobs just on the tooth shape. Now, there's some pink coming onto the teeth, which, look, I'm not mad about, but you feel free to clean up your artwork as much as you want. I am happy to just use that in there. Because, come on, who's the actually white white? No one's. So this is more realistic. Now what I'm going to do is grab that darker color. Let me grab a bit more oil. Darken it up a tinge. Not so much because you don't want dirty looking teeth. And then I'm going to fill in the rest of that and then do the outline. Be careful not to erase any of those previous dots you've made with that lighter color and I'm also being mindful that there needs to be some space for the grills but we are going to throw it to a quick break and I'm going to be working during the break I will see you guys shortly Hi everyone, welcome back to I Heart Art on Channel 31. It's your girl Food Bill, also known as Doxa Art. We're going to go straight back into it with some teeth detailing. And before the break, we were just filling in the teeth. And I'd mentioned that we don't want white, white teeth. Because we want this to look a bit more realistic and having some variation in colour just creates that illusion of reality. Now, I don't know why that's the case, but 
Apparently it is. Now, I'm just gonna take it up to the top and use the point of this brush to create some limits right here. So I'm gonna do is just use the same, same tone and I'm gonna go in and do the corners of the eye with that grayish color. Just hit the corners of the eye. You can grab a bit of pink and hit the corners a bit more. So I'm doing the eyes, being very careful. And taking it to the corners. It's all right if you can't really see the lines because at this stage where you've ended this line here, we know that a pupil's gonna go there. And then we're also gonna bring in the lines. We're not all done yet, but just as long as you feel comfortable with what you've done. Now I'm quite comfortable with my paintings because A, this is my face, but B, mistakes are okay. It looks a bit scary. Don't cry, we're gonna fix it. So what I'm gonna do now is, my eye's wonky, I can see it. So that eye's wonky, I'm gonna bring it up. I might actually bring it up first. So what I'm gonna do is grab a brush that we've used already, that's got some brown or that initial base color from last episode. And I'm just going to grab a tiny bit, tiny bit. A little goes a long way. That's the motto of the day. And I hope that does something for you guys. I don't know who needs to hear that, but a little goes a long way. So what I'm gonna do now is actually come right across that and just do that like just create that shape. So what I've done is push that up and don't be scared to work over things you've already done. Um, you can fix things, it's totally fine. And then I've done some guidelines. So I've just used some black, not quite black, but you know, just a dot, a dot of black mixed in with some of that brown create these new guidelines. Sorry, I just got distracted, started doing guidelines. But while we're here, let's just finish it. So I'm just gonna fix that up a bit. And then I've just gone over the main shapes. That's how I created my guidelines. And it also helps create the illusion of some depth. As you can see, as I'm painting, there are different colors getting on my paintbrush. But what you wanna do is not freak out. Don't cry, don't scream, just chill out. You can grab your brush and easily just go over them, over the lines, over whatever mistake you've made. And last episode when I put my base, I have an issue with, lin with linseed or flaxseed oil. And I put way too much. But when it comes to these situations, Actually, it doesn't matter because it just blends right in together. All right, so that section is looking good. I'm gonna go back in to these eyes that are looking very alien. And I'm just gonna clean it up a bit like that. And then I'm gonna wipe this off. I keep saying I don't use multiple brushes, but I've used multiple brushes. So clearly I'm a liar. That's fine, because we love art. Now, I grabbed a straight black, didn't mix it with anything, and I wanna create some sharp lines because we, after this, we're not gonna work on any shapes. So, grab that black, I mean eye shape that is. So this is gonna be the final eye shape. Now, I just need to bear in mind that it is a bit low 
So I'm going to start it off right there and take it across like that. And do the same like that. I'm going to grab some more black. Do a nice pupil. Boom. There's a lot of illusion in this image because I've done a lot of mixing in. So there's sort of some gray in that eye, which if you look up close, it kind of looks cool. You may or may not see it, but I promise I didn't make that up. Now, I'm gonna do the other one and just like that. And we're going to go right in with some more black and we're going to define that shape a bit more. I'm gonna do the same again over here and I'm just gonna throw in one of those. Uh, another one over here, it doesn't matter if it's too dark. Amazing. Well, we are going to throw it to a break and I'll be doing some more work so that we can have a nice finished image but I will see you guys in a moment. Welcome back to I Heart Art on Channel 31. It is your girl Thurbil, also known as Doxa, and we are going to wrap up our amazing self-portrait. So what I am in the midst of doing, let me just grab some of that, is finishing off the detailing so during the break, I did some work and I added some nail color. I finished off the grills. I just cleaned it up a bit um, just to a place where I like. And I'm just doing the earrings now. So just grabbing in some of that yellow that I've mixed. Now it's not all yellow. I've grabbed some mustard. It's got some, uh, just a bit of black in there just because the side that it's on can't be too bright because it's sort of in the dark. And we don't want to introduce something that's too bright, otherwise it won't make a lot of sense. So I'm just gonna finish that off just like that. I'm just gonna clean this off really quick. Grab a bit of black, put it to the side, mix in the yellow going a bit green but that is cool and I'm just gonna create just a bit of a dip in here just to add a bit of depth in our earring it is chunky it's a bit juicy and we love that now that I'm done with that I'm gonna quickly mix in our background color so I made a bit of mistake on the hair, um, I let my hand against it, which is fine. I'm going to be using this fat brush for our background. What I'm going to do is mix in some blue, into just this pot of oil right here. It's actually quite a lot. But that's okay. I want it to be nice and dense. And then I might add a tiny bit of red. Just a touch of red that aside and then some white where is that white there it is boom Bop. pow now as you can see there's way too much oil but I'm not upset I hope you're not I've already confessed that I have an issue with flaxseed oil it could do a lot. 
You can fix your friendships, fix your marriage. Flaxseed oil is the way to go. Now I'm just mixing that bad boy in there. Mix, mix, mix. The last thing you want to do is do a background color. Finish off with that color and then come back and you don't have enough to finish it. And then you've got two, three different shades of the color and you can't get it right. So this will be plenty. I could go lighter, but I don't want to. I kind of like this. I don't know what color that is. Now, normally, it'd be good to use a spatula. But I do me, so I'm just going to test that out. Do we love it? Yes. Yes, we do. I don't know what color that is, but it's whatever. And then I'm just going to do the outlines. I highly recommend you use like a smaller, smaller brush, but because I'm me and I allegedly don't use lots of brushes, I just usually tr like to challenge myself and just use some corners. And with smaller brushes, sometimes it can look a bit I don't know, you just get so many different streaks in there. I don't mind using this brush because I can sort of correct as I go. But if you're not confident, or just if you don't think it's a good idea, if you disagree with me, go ahead. Use a smaller brush to do your outlines in I just love that. When I press it down, it creates a nice distance between the subject. So I can just block it in like that. Gotta be a bit quick. So I'm just gonna do one of these. Sort of correct my shapes as I go. Fill that in. I did want to do slightly lighter, but there's something about the gl blue, the, the darkness of it, that's getting me. You know what I mean? I'm just loving it. It's a nice surprise. Okay, and then we just want to, this is the fun part. This is when I really feel like an artist when I'm doing these big strokes. And then... Make sure you're draining or just wiping your brush as well, especially if you're using a big brush. Even if you're using a little brush, the last thing you want, which I've done before on a painting, is a big blue drop right in the middle of the painting. Now that would suck because it's hard to cover up. So hopefully I don't jinx myself, but just be careful. If you see a clump of paint anywhere, just clear it off, just on a nice round or sharp edge, like that. It's looking good. I'm very happy with it. And then I'm just going to go all the way around it. So it's nice and fun because once you've done the, the outlines, and all the careful bits. You can sort of just go crazy with the background and just really fill in that block color. And because during episode one, we've put the masking tape, you don't really have to be careful because once this masking tape comes off, it's super, super easy. Just peel it off and it gives you a really nice border. And just chuck some bits and bobs in there. Nice big strokes right up to the edge. 
fill that in all the way up. Coming down this way, nice wide strokes. I'm just carrying that color all the way through. And we've got that beautiful richness from the oil paint, which I absolutely love. And I really like this color. I'm just gonna take a blob, pop it there. Let's take it along the edges like that. Just carry that down. And we are just about done. And there we have it. A complete piece. It's been so much fun. This is our reference object. And this is our final product with grills, earrings and all. But this has been so much fun. I am Turbil, also known as Doxa. You are watching iHeartArt on Channel 31. See you another time.